In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a new setting that Zoho added to their settings section. It's an old new feature, but anyway, I think it's worth talking about. If you go to your settings, you will see on the left side or under general, you will see booking, calendar booking. This calendar booking section is not new, but it's a new addition to the settings. Before, in order to go to this feature, you had to go to the calendar, to one of the calendar options, and then you go to calendar booking, which is identical feature. Basically, they just added a shortcut. But this is a very interesting feature that I like to talk to you about. If you know you have Zoho bookings, and Zoho bookings allow you that people can book appointment on your page. Basically, you will have a link and people can go to this link and they can book appointments on your calendar. Okay, and that's something that Zoho Bookings is doing. The downside of Zoho Bookings, it's not working well. Uh, sometimes you will have double bookings, the sync between the calendar, let's say Gmail and Zoho will, will break and then you need to redo it again. This is why we don't really like it. Uh, we personally work with Calendly. So Calendly is amazing, full integration. Anyway, with APIs, we, we know how to integrate Calendly in a very good way with CRM, works awesome. This feature, the Manage Calendar Booking, it's working directly with the CRM. So basically, if you're using, let's say, your meetings and calls modules in the CRM, that will be a great addition for you. So basically, if you click on create calendar booking, you can do it or for yourself or for a meeting, basically multiple people on one calendar link. And here you will be able to uh, assign the bookings or to your meetings or to your calls modules, one of them. The meetings will probably be the, the, best, the best direction. You can select the uh, length of the meeting, the duration. You can have your multiple questions that people need to answer the same way that I showed you here. And you will have here also different questions regarding the availability, regarding what would be the buffer time and so on. And eventually when you finish, you just click on save and then the booking link is created. Now, if you click on the three dots, you can copy the link and basically people that click on this link or you can add this link to your signature they will see your availability they can click they can book the appointment and then it will go directly to your meetings in zo crm so i think it's a cool feature to think about so that's it very quick session thank you very much for watching if you liked it subscribe to the channel like the video thank you very much we'll see you in the next one